Back to gold again. Yes, I like gold. <laughs> gold Smith, my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Can you tell me where to buy the goose that lays the golden egg? Uh, <laughs> 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 Open the lantern. You get a slug of gold, I'm sure, in New Zealand. I think there's gold here. Canada's okay. Canada's an interesting currency. If you want to buy currencies, Canada's probably a reasonable currency. Swiss franc's probably a reasonable currency. Danish currency is probably reasonable. There are, there are various currencies, but again, all these currencies, you can't just sit on it. You can't, you know how you used to be able to have an investment and you could leave it and forget about it and it was safe as houses? Yeah. Not true anymore. Only gold is okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, because it's physical. It's physical. What use is paper money? It burns. <laughs> inflation. If, if inflation takes place, you, 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 your buying power of that money is reduced drastically. What you could buy has gone right down. They've robbed you. That's the biggest tax governments lay on, as you know. The, the taxes are not what we pay the worst on. It's the inflation. It's the, it's the degrading of our money. That's the biggest tax. Yes? Getting away from gold. How about the Getting away from gold there for a while. We'll get away from it, yes. How about bonus bonds? How do they stand? Bonus bonds. Well, yeah. as far as I understand, I think those are similar to premium bonds in the US, in the UK. We might earn it, yeah? And it's like where you put your money in. I don't think you get interest, but you can get a prize. Is that right? Yeah. You yeah. can win something. So it's a government-run thing again, as far as I know. So again, it depends how confident you are in the government. <laughs> Truly, this is what it boils down to. This is honestly what it boils down to. My only advice as people are thinking about buying gold coins is that you remember when you put them. <laughs> shareholders do. They scrub the idea and says we want a new directorship. Yeah. And they didn't get their five million. Okay, but somehow, somewhere, they'll still get it some, by some other means, some other sure. circuitous route, they'll find a way. Look at all these banks, these banks that have been bailed out by taxpayers' money, and they're paying themselves millions again. Where's the justice in that? But you see, the thing is, I'm sorry, but we're complicit in it. We're allowing it to happen. Sorry, guys. For too long, we've sat there and we've allowed people to dumb us down with different things. And, you know, we've got to get up in arms now, as far as I'm concerned. 
not allow them to continue to do this to us. Can't be right. Is gold jewellery as good as the gold coin or not? Okay, good question. Gold jewellery is not as marketable as gold coins. Gold coins are like cash. Alright? Jewellery, you've got to find a particular dealer and they always cut you down in price. Because it's not as marketable. You've got those coins. It's money. Money. Same with the silver coins. So, no, that's how we were done. So that's it. Even if it was melted down. Well, again, then you've got to go through the melted down process. That costs yeah. money. And so what you want is something that's quick and easy and usable, should you need it, in the event that you need it. Yeah. When, when you go in and buy gold from a bullion dealer, then you must pay him something Correct. for the beauty of being able to buy it. Correct. And then you must pay him something for the beauty to be able to um, cash it. That's a good question, but there are dealers that will not charge you hardly anything on the sale of it. You pay most when you go into it. However, it's like anything, as I said before, you have to negotiate. Got to negotiate hard with them. Sometimes I negotiate for clients on their behalf. I can give them a better deal. <laughs> I'm astonished what people pay sometimes. I think, God. What sort of deals are you talking about, sorry? Well, sometimes they'll charge you anywhere. At the moment, I'm seeing them charging 10 and 15 percent commission, which is very high. It depends, you see, it depends how available the gold is, and it depends how much you can how much you're buying. There's a few things. And it also depends how much you're ready to just badge them. But when gold is scarce, a few months ago it was very, very scarce, and then you couldn't negotiate with them at all because, you know, you couldn't get much. So you were lucky to get it. Right now it is quite available. But China is buying up gold reserves. India is buying up gold reserves. Brazil, you know, all the big... <laughs> they're not stupid. <laughs> they're buying it all. Britain's got no hardly gold left anymore. You know? We don't know how much is in Fort Knox anymore because nobody knows. It's all hidden. It's all secure. It's a child's deal. But if you think of the American situation, it's a terrible <laughs> How long have you got? But they seem to be converting up in bankruptcy. It's very severe there right now. But as everybody knows, what happens in America affects the rest of the world. Let's make no mistake. So, yeah, it's a good question, but it's a long answer. What is rolled gold? Rolled gold. Rolled gold. Yes. As far as I know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert on that, does anybody know what rolled gold is? Before I put my, take a guess. <laughs> Thank you, Jocelyn here has said. It's a coating on silver. Cheap way out. Sorry? On copper. And can be copper. There we go. Thank you very much. So it's a bogus gold. Yes, it's bogus. It's pretend money. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Yes. You want the real thing. You do. You're going to do it to get the real thing. It's like wedding rings are made out of real gold. <laughs> hey, well, thank you very much for having me here today. I've got books, I've got business cards here if you want to pick up my card and if you want to give me your card, I'd be interested. I'd like to meet you. And thank you very much for letting me speak to you today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.